Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start this video by giving all praises on and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Racha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elective nation of Israel. This is Aratiza from the Great Millstone GMS Atlanta camp with another quick video. I just want to bring out a scripture, um, of course, dealing with the prophecies. Um, you know, this year is, is currently in 2024. Um, I think today is January 4th, if I'm not mistaken. All right. So we're fresh into the new year. And uh, as we anticipated, you know, things is already getting hot, man. And if you recall, right, every year, pretty much, beginning with the Apostles of on Dan, we always say, well, you know, this year, this may happen. Or that year, that may happen. You know, every year there's a theme and then, we always hope for certain things to happen, whether Esau brings the MOTB, whether, um, you know, Jacob's trouble, which we hope that happens this year, because that's what the year has been coined, the hopeful year, Jacob's trouble, um, you know, ver various prophecies and, excuse me, the various events that the scriptures speak about prophetically to happen in the future. Every year, it's like a new thing. Well, that, that same thing, uh, 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 thing, for lack of a better word, uh, goes back to the scriptures. All right, they were doing that in the ancient world. The prophets are old. They were saying this year something would happen. All right, and in this year, basically, it's like rumors. All right, and the scripture that I have here is a uh, Jeremiah, the fifty-first chapter. Naturally, y'all, uh, I'm gonna start up a little bit. Um. You know, this is one of them chapters where the whole thing is pretty much you could really just do a lesson on the whole chapter. But of course, for time's sake, let's start at the. Um, man. Let's start at 41. Cause it's really like the main scripture I want to bring out. I was going to bring out, um, you know, it was Habakkuk, the second chapter as well, but I'll start at 41. All right. This is, uh, Jeremiah 51, <clears throat> excuse me, Jeremiah 51 and 41. This is how, how is Shishak taken? All right. Which Shishak is another word for Babylon or another name for Babylon. As you see there in the NLT version on the right hand side. It says, and how is the praise of the whole earth surprised? How has Babylon become an astonishment among the nations? Which we know that this is referring to uh, modern day Babylon, which is America. Okay, North America. All right, this is the new modern day Babylon. <laughs> okay, and it's about, to, it's about to fall. It's about to be taken. All right, I did a video yesterday titled that Babylon is about to be X'd out. All right, and that was due to the um, the total solar eclipse that's supposed to come, I think, April 8th of this year. But the last one was in August, I think August 17th, 2017, if I'm not mistaken. All right, you can go back and look at that video. And when you look at the paths of those of the, the, two, the two eclipses, it looked like an X that's going right through America. All right, so this place again is is about to be crossed out, xed out, and it's about to fall. All right, verse uh, verse forty two. It says the sea has come up upon Babylon. She is covered with the multitude of the waves thereof, which the sea represents people. All right, we read Revelations. It speaks about how the, um how America sits on uh, many waters that represents people, and it says forty three. Her cities are a desolation, a dry land and a wilderness, a land wherein no man dwelleth, neither doth any son or man pass thereby. OK, and this is this refers to what's going to be the, the aftermath of Babylon, the Greek, which is America. After the destruction, this place is going to be a complete desert. All right. And no life form is going to dwell here except for the, um, you know, certain animals and creatures. Okay, and then it goes on in verse 44, it says, and I will punish Baal in Babylon. All right, Baal or um, Baal, which goes back to Satan. 
okay, which we understand and know that the so-called white man who's Esau, the Edomites, are the physical counterpart of Baal of, or Satan. Okay, and it says, and I will bring forth out of his mouth that which he has swallowed up. And the nations shall not flow together anymore unto him. Yeah, the wall of Babylon shall fall down. You're right. So Satan's going to be cast down. All right. Which is, again, his, his counterpart being a so-called white man is going to have to relieve all of the, the, the resources that he's he swallowed down and he's stolen. All right. That he's kept to himself. He's going to have to give it up to the nation of Israel, start on the elect. People are not going to bow down to him no more, man. All right. This is the, this is the end. This is the end of his rulership. All right. And then it says, yeah, the wall of Babylon shall fall down, which is a reference to uh, the story about um, the uh, walls of Jericho. How they had a uh, uh, Jake, you know, circled it, circled the wall and shouted and, and the walls fell. Well, that's what we're doing right now in the spirit. We shout. <laughs> we're, 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 we're shouting down the walls of uh, the uh, walls of America, the walls of Esau, the walls of Babylon. All right. Read on verse 45. It says, my people go, uh, my people go ye out of the midst of her and deliver ye every man his soul from the fierce anger of the Lord. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. What does it mean now? We're, we're physically not to flee. All right. No, we're supposed to flee out of this place spiritually. All right. By not being a part or being attached to this world or not being conformed to this world. As it says in, I believe, Romans the 12th chapter, where, he, where Apostle Paul said to be not conformed to this world, um, but um, by the renewing of your mind. I'm, I'm paraphrasing the verse, but that's how we are to deliver and save our souls by turning from this world and, you know, drawing near to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. So that's how we flee, man, not getting on no plane. Thinking that you're going to, because because if, if the Lord has it to where you're going to get judged, you're going to get judged, man, whether it's here in America or whether you, uh you know, try to take a plane and, and fly to this place and fly to that place or you try to go. It's how you escape judgment is by repentance and turning back to the Lord, which ultimately you have to be part of the elect anyway. A part of it's chosen to uh, even do that for him to put the spirit on you to do that. All right, so that's how you flee. Now, here's the point of the um of the lesson in verse 46. It says, unless your heart faint and ye fear for the rumor that shall be heard in the land. A rumor shall both come one year. And after that, in another year shall come a rumor and violence in the land against, uh, excuse me, ruler against ruler. So this was go this was going on back then. During the time of Jeremiah and during the time of the other prophets. And we, it's the same thing is happening today. When you hear brothers, the apostles, elders, you know, and brothers on down the ranks. When you hear us say things like, oh, you know, this year, this is going to happen. Or Lord willing, this happens this year. Or Lord willing, that happens. Right? This is the, the same verse, verse 46 in the, the NLT version here on the right hand column. It says, but do not panic. Don't be afraid when you hear the first rumor of approaching forces. For rumors will keep coming year by year. Violence will erupt in the land as the leaders fight against each other. See, so that's what's happening. Rumors are coming year by year. All right. Remember, one year was the hopeful year to, or the uh, year of the the. Uh, Year of the MOTB, we was hoping that that would come. This year is the year of Jacob's trouble. We're the hopeful year. Of Jacob's trouble. We're hoping that that's coming. And right, uh, another year it was it was hopeful year of something else. So, the spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets, man. Okay, nothing's new under the sun. All right, and these things will happen, man. They will happen in their time. Everything is based on the heavenly Father's timing, man. But nonetheless, these prophecies are coming to pass, man. All right. And then it goes on. I finish here with verse 47. It says, therefore, behold, the days come 
that I will do judgment upon the graven images of Babylon and her whole land shall be confounded and her, all her slain shall fall in the midst of her. Right. So the Lord is preparing to bring heavy judgment upon America. It's going to confound all the idols and the false gods that people worship and look to. All of that's going to be confounded and all that's going to be brought down, man. In the, in the uh, coming days. <clears throat> now, I'll leave you with this and have a quote. All right, because it goes with that. This is Habakkuk 2 and um, two and 3, just to get to the point. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. All right, yeah, the vision, these different various prophecies, everything is set in this appointed time. Everything is ordered in this, the way the, the Most High has it set up. All right, it says, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. All right, yeah, the things written in, as it says in um, Second Ezra, the fifteenth chapter, um, it says, "Speak down to is my people the words of prophecy that I will put in my mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true." All right, so it's going to happen, man. All right, the scriptures speak about Jacob's trouble, which we hope it hap we hope it happens this year. Obviously, that's why the, the apostle, through the Spirit, coined it the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, but. Let's say hypothetically it, it doesn't happen this year. Guess what? It's still going to happen because it's set for an appointed time and it's going to speak and not lie. And it says, though it tarry, wait for it. All right. Tarry means to wait or to, to um something that seems to be prolonged. All right. The scripture said to wait for it. And it says, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. See that it's going to come a point where. These prophecies are not going to tarry much longer, man. And we see that happening. Things is happening fast. These years are going by like nothing. All right. And hey, man, the, the Heavenly Father is, is, is showing his hand now. He's showing his power. All right. So I just wanted to just bring out the scripture mainly in Jeremiah. Um, and I was watching what also inspired the video. I was watching the um, GMS Dallas camp the other day and they were they brought the scripture out. And I was like, damn, that, that, that's that's it. All right. This is the same, the same thing happening today, man. Every year it's a rumor. Every year it's, 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 it's a hopeful event we, we that we that we want to happen. You know, so the prophets were they were in the same spirit back then. All right. So, yeah, man, um, you know, with that, the Lord only was edified. All right. I just want to keep it real short on, um, you know, this particular video. Um, so low when he was edified once again, giving all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Chakwadash, and low willingly to the next video, we're going to say Shalom.